So when I was opening, I encountered a, a male who's with me here right now. And he comes in and he's upset about the living. He's extremely calculating with the living. He likes games. They're also getting confused, feeling like they have early onset Alzheimer's. Something mentally is wrong with them. And that's him, but, you know, their minds. What makes him happy is thinking about killing. And I got specifically family. OK, Nicole, so what's going on in this room? When I'm downstairs here, it sounds like there are knocking noises coming from the basement. Can it be pipes knocking? No. This happened at a time when the heating system was not on, and neither was the central air. OK. Have you experienced anything else? I see these shadowy figures going down the hallway all the time. What's that shadow figure look like to you? It's very misty. It's not solid. Sometimes it's one, and sometimes it's like a cluster. Would you consider it to be of human shape? I can't make it out to be a human. OK, anything else down here? I have this collectible fire truck here. It will just fly off for no reason. Now, I know you have cats. Could they have knocked it over? No. My cats don't even like to be in this room. OK. I think the dude would hang out down here. He might get a little physical with people down here, being down here, because this is his place. It's more of a feeling like he goes through your body and you feel it. He's causing wicked hallucinations. He, he basically reads their minds and then projects out what they think of as a ghost. So he tries to freak them out, too, you know what I'm saying? I can make them think they're hearing sounds down here. I can make them think they're seeing this, that, or the other thing. Like, he goes, I put it in their mind. They see what they want to see. What kind of threat do you think this guy might pose to the living? He's a sexual predator. I think it's possibility, and I hope not, that he's perving out on them while they're sleeping in their beds. They're feeling, like, uncomfortable in the bathroom, feeling sexually violated. So, Nicole, I assume this is your bedroom? Yes. So what's going on up here? The bathroom, you know, I constantly feel like I'm being watched. I took a shower, and I just immediately felt this coldness and somebody behind me. It felt very creepy, almost as if the person felt entitled to be there. Very perverted feeling. Anything else going on in this room? I was pushed on my hips a few times. Do you get the sense if it's a male or a female. I always imagined there was a masculine presence here. OK. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Augie. Come here. Hi. One, two, three. Okay. Mommy was telling me about all the stuff that's going on in this place. You having a tough time here? Yeah. So Mommy says there's a man bothering you. Can you tell me what the man looks like? He has clothes on just like me, but he has red clothes on. He has a mustache, and he does have hair. Tell them what he does. Well, he hits me. Yeah, where does he hit you? In your head? We're going to try to get rid of him. That sound good to you? I'm going to finish talking with Mommy. Is that OK? Yeah? All right. All right. Just be careful, OK? <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Thanks. I get really down on myself because I always wonder if I'm doing enough for my son. You just have to stay strong. There's sometimes no other choice. It's a very lonely daily existence. I, I got to ask you, what are you hoping we can do for you? There's something attacking my son, and I would like for it to be fixed. He's my world. I have to protect him. Did you touch me? No. no. Somebody's capable of touching. I think it might be the guy. What makes me nervous, though, is that he might be touching them inappropriately, sexually. He could be touching them, like caressing their hair or their face or their feet. 
He likes it when they become emotional and upset and scared. He like breaks them down mentally, psychologically. It's really bad because it's all set on messing with the living people here. So Patty, uh, Nicole was telling me that you and your daughter moved in here recently. Yeah, eight months ago. Nicole called us in because uh, she think whatever's here is going after her little boy. I mean, do you agree with that? Yes. There is a male figure attacking at him. I've seen him very scared, and I don't know how to help him. I try to make him feel more safe. Why do you think whatever's here is picking on him? I think because he's young um, and he can be manipulated easier. As far as you living here, I mean, have you had experiences? I had something brush against me while I was in bed. Were you awake at the time or did it wake you up? I was trying to go to sleep. OK, did that ever happen again? I had movement on my bed, and I turned the light on, and there was nothing there. Could it have been one of Nicole's cats? They do not go up in my room. Now, do you think Nicole and August are in danger here? Yes. I've seen him very scared, and he's such a loving kid. Mm -hmm. So when you see him sad, you know, you just want to make it better for him. There is a nasty woman up here. She does not want us here. She wants us to vacate the premises. Can you describe her? OK. She's looking like stretched out right now. She's taking up, like, from here all the way to the other post. So this is her area. Everything is wide. I think she's related to the angry guy. I think there's a lot of competition between this male and this female. Uh, I think they're, like, competing for attention. But they hate each other. What kind of experiences might the living have with her? She wants to be heard. She wants to be seen. So I think the living see her and hear her more than any other dead person here. She likes that. And she is pissed off. She's ranting and raving and going back and forth. Living people would hear a lot of pacing uh, noises, walking. I think she would, like, slam the doors, throw shit around. Anything physical like that would be coming from her. She knows it scares them, and that can take a toll.